All right, so we talked about club path is gonna kind of dictate the curvature of the ball and the spin axis. So yep. talk to us about when maybe that uh, doesn't actually happen. You know, you're hitting a fade, but your club pass says it should be a draw. What should golfers look for? Okay, so that's a great question. All right, so the cool thing about this technology is the camera vision. So we get to see the impact location and where you hit the ball on the face. So I always tell my tour players, first question, I hit a, see a crooked shot, did you hit it in the middle of the face? Uh, no, it was on the toe. Okay, well you need to throw that out because there's a thing called gear effect. Did you, next shot, Where'd you hit that one? Oh, slightly in the heel. Okay, we need to throw that out because this is the sort of problem, conundrum we face as coaches. Gear effect, which we're gonna talk about here in a minute with this driver, trumps what the club delivery is, so to speak. So manufacturers like Titleist do an amazing job with golf club technology. So we have these bulge and roll on a golf club, right? And essentially that means the face is curved, it's not flat. Now that's really helpful so that when you have a toe strike like this gentleman here clearly did that. Obviously, he's not you, Justin. Um, the face is going to actually open and you're going to get this gearing effect, which then starts to put spin on the golf ball to bring the ball back to the target. So if you toe strike it, the face opens. So if you're using the camera vision, you would see a strike on the toe. The face would look open, but the ball would draw. So if you are trying to hit a shot where you don't want it to fade, but all of a sudden you actually heel strike, here's what's gonna happen. You could have draw numbers, a path that's inside out, right? So that ball should curve. But if you heel strike it, here's what happens. The face, you strike in the heel, the face closes. So now the ball's gonna start left, but then the gear effect creates a cut. So people say, well, how do I hit a fade with a path number on the machine? The machine's wrong. No, 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 no deeper dive, you take a look at the impact location, it'll be in the heel, and all of a sudden it's a gear effect. So center strikes are massively important. There's a reason they put these lovely scoring lines on a, on a driver. It's not just for looks, it's to remind you you should hit it in the middle of the face. So the data we get on any device, and Rapsodo gives you a number, it's contingent that you've hit it in the center of the face. If you haven't hit it in the center of the face, gear effect takes over and you can get some numbers that don't make sense. So that's where the camera technology is so helpful because you can validate where did you hit it on the face. And most people, especially the golfers that aren't quite as skilled, don't quite have a great sense of where they okay. hit it on the face. But as you start no. to learn, it can be helpful. Now, one other thing, let's say you're somebody who has an outside in path very consistently and you struggle to draw the ball, but you know on your golf course, there's a couple of holes, you have to draw it. So this is where the great players are really clever. They will intentionally toe strike shots to use the gear effect wow. to be able to draw the ball. So that's a mechanism tour players use all the time. So they don't deviate on their baseline pattern, but they have the ability to still shot make. So then they use the technology to their advantage. Just like if they don't need to miss it left, a lot of guys will, girls will squeeze closer to the ball and intentionally hit it on the heel. Jack Nicklaus was notorious for it. So you hit that low squeeze bleeder down there, the ball's in play. So you, whilst it could be hazardous and give you some crazy data numbers, if you use the camera vision and know where you've hit it, you'll understand it. But you can also use that gear effect to your advantage to, to hit certain shots if they're not in your repertoire.